What's up guys? It is day three officially in Colorado. I've gone to way too many breweries. I'm actually not proud of it because I have not been waking up feeling like a champ lately, but it is a once in a lifetime opportunity so far in my life. So let's do as much as we can while we can, right? So, hey, there's been some damn good beers in Colorado thus far, guys. It's really been awesome. So, check it. All right, guys, I thought I would throw this little bit in because I did take some time out of the craft brewery scene to go hiking. I really did enjoy this component of Colorado. Me and my two buddies did actually almost hike 10 miles up this mountain, guys. It was intense, but boy, was it worth it at the top. As you can see, guys, I actually was a happy camper in the end when it was all said and done. On to the next bit guys, we did check out Four Noses Brewing Company and it was very impressive with a very cool atmosphere and spectacular beer ranging from awesome hazies to sours to good ambers and Oktoberfest guys, it is the season for great beer. And as you can see guys, I'm never shy when it comes to ordering flights, I always try to order as many as I possibly can when I go. And the third stop of this day, guys, was Rails End Beer Company, a very impressive atmosphere here as well, where they had a double-sided bar, one from the outside and the other side from the inside, so it was very awesome. And I did, of course, take advantage of getting full flights for me and my two buddies. And lastly, the Blood Orange Double IPA is an absolute must from these guys. The best beer I had on the entire trip was at Odd 13, guys. Spectacular sours and awesome hazy IPAs. And a fun fact about this place, guys, is the owners are actually from Michigan. Thus, they used 13 as 313 in the Detroit area code. The next day, guys, we headed over to New Belgium Brewing Company in Fort Collins, Colorado. That's my company. This place is huge, guys. It's so massive. It almost appears as it's a college campus. Lastly, I did hit up Odell Brewing Company, guys. I think this was a must visit as they've been there since 1989 and they've made so many improvements over the years. These guys are no slouches. They have impressive beer on tap and they have a full range of beer all over the map, guys. These guys tore it up. And out of pure interest, guys, I stumbled over to this liquor store, which had the Blind Pig in stock, so I had to scoop that. What is up, guys? It is 4 o'clock, October 14th. My trip is officially over in Colorado. Uh, I'm up and I gotta have my buddy take me to the airport when he wakes up in 15 minutes. It was a real ride, guys. But uh, probably one of the best trips I've ever had. So checking out craft beer, seeing the Rockies, and just overall checking out new things in life. So that'll conclude this trip. I have two airplanes to catch. Denver to O'Hare and O'Hare to Traverse City, guys. I'll check in with you a little bit later. Hey, what's happening, guys? I am freshly back in Michigan off of two flights. Denver to O'Hare, guys. O'Hare to Traverse City. That is a wrap for this Colorado trip. I had a ton of fun. I got almost no sleep. Um, I feel like crap, but nonetheless, I had an excellent time. I regret nothing. Um, I just scratched the surface on the breweries, guys. There's so many. It's, it's outrageous. It's overwhelming. It's incredible. So if you haven't gone out to Colorado, I highly recommend you do. Um, there's a ton of things to do, but if you love craft beer, that is absolutely a necessity to visit um, up and down that state, guys. But that's going to conclude this trip, guys. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm probably going to sleep for like 12 hours tonight. I cannot wait. I'm going to drink a bunch of water. Lord knows I need that. So thank you so much for tuning in, all you guys who ever have been watching this whole trip, um, and especially this last part of it. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. 
that's going to do it for now. I am over and out, guys. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.